Hey yo, what's up astronaut? Last video I asked you to tell me which preset from Riot for Serum you want me to show you how to make. And this one right here is the most requested one. So today we're gonna be recreating this awesome virtual Riot kind of style preset from our pack Riot for Serum. And this is what it sounds like. By the way, this is a quick little demo I made with a few other presets from Riot. I literally made this in five minutes, so don't judge, but it sounds sick anyways. And the bass in question today is this. Oh, baby. What's good, boys? This is your last time to get any of the bonuses for Riot because, guess what? They are literally flying off the shelves. If you are on the fence about Riot, today is your last opportunity. The bonuses are literally almost gone, and this is going to be my last video mentioning it because they're going to be gone after this video. So, if you're interested in Riot, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. Let's jump right into the tutorial, baby. So, the OG preset actually had a wavetable from Riot, and you guys don't have that wavetable. Uh, so, we're actually going to be using one built into Serum, okay? I found a good replacement. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started, all right? So Oscillator A is going to be our replacement wavetable that I was talking about, and it's going to be found in our spectral section. It's going to be phase verb, all right? Phase verb. Now we're gonna go ahead and... We're gonna find a good spot, like 195, in the wavetable position. Now we're just gonna take the unison, jump it all the way up, Ooh, baby, that sounds weird. But we want to take down the random face to 0%. That way, we rhythmify it. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, turn on the, d d the detuning just a little bit. Okay. And now, it's time to turn on FM from B. Is it a dubstep preset if we're not using FM from B? I don't think so. So now... We want to go ahead and turn on oscillator B, drop the level all the way down to zero because the sound's going to be outputted through oscillator A, and we're actually just going to leave this on the defaulted sawtooth waveform at a 50% phase. Okay, let's go ahead and take our first LFO, which is going to be LFO number one, uno. Okay, all right, we can start to get a little bit of movement in here, and we're just going to turn it down just a tad bit. All right, and now we can actually start to shape our first LFO. Now, guys, the shape, is actually pretty damn cool. We go ahead and, all right, well, that's not working. So, well, bam, that's gonna be our shape. We're gonna put this on trigger uh, and make sure we have triplet selected. So we can go ahead and go to 1 16th triplet because we're gonna, that's what's gonna give us that nice little flow that we hear like virtual riot using. All right, let's go ahead and turn up our octave up four now. Woo, all right, that sounds not too pretty. Let's up the semitones to plus seven. That's gonna give us a nice little harmonic sound, but we gotta clean it up, drop the level down to zero. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our LFO number one, put that on the level. Okay, now you can start to hear, like damn, this is actually starting to come together. All right, we're gonna turn on our sub, put on direct out, that way the sub is not affected by any effects that we put onto the sound. And we're actually gonna be taking our LFO number one and putting that on the sub as well. Right, we can actually just leave the level at 100. I know, pretty crazy, right? All right, you can actually start to hear already how this is coming together, but we're just getting started, baby. We gotta filter this bad boy because it's not filtered enough. How are we gonna make it sound like Virtual Riot? Like, Virtual Riot is a filter. No, what am I saying? I don't know, I'm just messing around. But we wanna go ahead and find our high notch filter. So this is a combination of a high pass and a notch filter. Pretty damn crazy stuff. We're going to take our LFO number one here and oh my gosh, what just happened? We are going from negative to positive because it's at halfway. So that's actually just fine. We're just going to move this now. And this is the high pass. So right now we're cutting out the low end frequencies, which is really good because they don't sound too pretty in the sound right now. And we want to cut it out. It's also going to give it a little bit of a talking sound when we turn up the resonance. You hear what I mean? It sounds like it's going, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can go ahead and cut that as a sample and use that in your music. Why are you even listening to this bass? Just use that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I'm expecting to hear that in all of any dubstep. Do <laughs> I can't even speak any dubstep gutter song that I hear. I want to hear my voice in there now. All right. I'm talking to you, Virtual Riot. All right. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and take our frequency and that's the notch. Okay. Uh, like the notch filter. So as you can see this little bad boy right here is going to be moving down backwards Which is going to create even more of a vocal effect So like high pass plus notch filter Two vocal filters put them together. It's kind of OP if you ask me So 
That's gonna take us straight into the effects section, baby. First effect on the list, we're gonna be you. <laughs> What am I saying? We're gonna be EQing it even more. I need even more coffee because if you guys thought I'm hyper right now, whoo, we are just getting started. Okay, into the EQ. We're actually just gonna be having a little bit of fun with this. Uh, we're gonna leave the frequency right here, okay, for our shape. And then we're actually just gonna be messing at first with our right end frequency and stuff okay so let's go ahead and move both of these to the shapes though so we're cutting out the frequencies that's the biggest part we want to be cutting out frequencies and what that's going to be doing is it's going to be adding in a lot of shape to the sound so let's go ahead and take our LFO number one and put this onto the frequency and now this is like a low pass and then we got a high pass over here so cutting out low end and high end frequencies but we're going to be doing the low end with a different LFO. I'll be showing you in just a sec. Turn on the Q factor so we don't have much resonance, not much of a peak on this. And then of course the gain's like not gonna do anything because it's that kind of slope. So you don't even need to touch the gain. Um, but let's go ahead and go into the filter because we're gonna be messing around with the other LFO in a sec. So it's gonna sound a little bit weird until we start, you know, it's, starting to spice things up a bit. So go ahead and go into our miscellaneous section or grab our combs filter. The combs filter, this is like a very popular one that a lot of artists are using. So just go ahead and drop this around 113, no, no, 137, That's, that should be good. Okay, uh, but we wanna really boost this resonance so we can start to get some like fat frequencies in there, but you know, since we just boosted the resonance, we wanna go ahead and drop the mix down so it really cleans up the sound. So the next effect on the list, we're gonna be turning on our chorus, okay? The chorus is just gonna be making it sound even more fancy. We're gonna turn on, turn down our rates, turn down our delay number one, uh, depth all the way down, feedback all the way down. And low pass filter, we wanna turn that all the way up. You know why? Because guess what? It's literally a filter, so why are we gonna be filtering out our low, our like chorus? That doesn't make any sense. So just go ahead and turn that up all the way. Okay, and boom. We're almost done. Turn on our compressor, but we do have one more LFO. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Turn on our multi-band compressor. Maybe turn on the high band a little bit. Turn up the mid. Turn up the gain. All right, so that is it for that, but we are not done. We gotta add a little bit more movement to the sound, right? We gotta turn on trigger one fourth. Okay, that's good for that. And now what we're gonna be doing here, boys, is we're gonna grab our LFO number two, put this on to the combs. Okay, so that adds a little bit more movement into the tonality, but now we gotta add in some movement to the actual shape. So we're gonna put it onto the frequency now of this, uh, of our EQ. That's basically like filter. It's like a bandpass filter that we're just messing with the two different like uh, high pass and low pass. Holy shit, guys, look at the EQ. It is freaking out right now. All right, that's how you know you're making a good sound, when the EQ is like dancing to it. Okay, boys, now we're just gonna stick our LFO2 onto the delay, number one. And we're gonna call it a day. Just kidding, we gotta go ahead and turn on our X for Records OTT compressor. And boom, <laughs> that my friends is how you make this amazing virtual riot like chicka 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 bass, okay? And guys, please keep in mind, like I said, the bonus is flying off the shelves for Riot. If you want to go ahead and claim your copy of Riot, go ahead and click the link in the top description down below and secure your copy. Did I mention? Oh my gosh, there's a 30 day money back refund. Yeah, that's right. If you don't like Riot, I don't want your money. I will literally give it back to you and you can keep Riot. That's how confident I am that you're going to absolutely love this pack because we spent so long designing it and it is amazing. Anyway, guys, without further ado, it's your favorite space cowboy, Shane Gregoire from Rocket Powered Sound. I'm gonna catch you astronauts in the next serum tutorial.